Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Scott from The Sun, and here's what we're working on for LowellSun.com and tomorrow's edition of the newspaper. That 61-year-old man from Chelmsford who was accused of attaching incendiary devices or makeshift bombs to the high-tension lines in Tingsboro, he was supposed to be in federal court in Boston today. That, now, that hearing has now been indefinitely postponed because of an undisclosed medical issue uh, with the suspect. Lisa Redman is reporting that story. Grant Welker has a story, an interesting story out of Lowell, where one of the Lowell towing companies is in trouble again. Uh, the towing company has had its license to tow, its license, city license to tow, suspended for 30 days. Rick Sobey also has an interesting story out of Tewksbury where an apparent administrative error uh, by the Tewksbury police allowed for the premature release of a crime suspect who then went on a two-state crime spree ending last week, in, last week in a small New Hampshire town. Amelia Pack Harvey also has a story about a Wilmington nursing home that is in trouble with the state and is facing a hefty fine. That nursing home is Woodbriar. If you see anything happening out there, please let us know at news at lulsun.com.